Hello and welcome to Bert's Imperfect Bake, the channel where it's okay to not bake perfectly every time. I'm Bert. E, and today we're going to be making fral, or otherwise known as oven bottom bread. So the ingredients are found in the description below. We'll start off with the flour and then the salt. Need to mix this together just to get it well incorporated. And then we're going to add the butter. Get every little bit. The most important part, the yeast. This has been sitting for about 10 minutes. Just to get the yeast to, to come back alive from hibernation. We're going to start mixing this together. You just need to get it to a shagger gel because when we're going to need it, it'll get a proper mix together. If you want, you can leave the flour for a bit once you've got it to the shaggy dough just to allow the flour to get hydrated. But with this type of bread and there's a young, long uh, proofing period uh, between the folds so we're going to flower the work surface It's probably a good part to get some music, watch a TV show or something, while you do the next part. Because we're going to need it, bring it all together, and develop them gluten cells in the bread. Apparently Bert said it's very uh, calming to watch. I'm just scraping up the little bits, bring it all together, keep it neat. So at the moment the bread will be quite tacky and it could stick to your hands but as long as you're moving and don't allow your hands to rest on the bread for too long, uh, you should be okay. So you can see that the bread is getting more smoother. What I'm checking there is for the gluten. So you're going to peel up a bit of the dough, stretch it out, and you want a clear film that you can slightly see light through. Um, if the bread tears, if the flour tears, there's not enough gluten development. You can take the, the kneading too far and cause the gluten to start breaking down, but when you hand knead it's quite difficult to do so so it's just a couple more and more kneads and then we should be good to start proofing so that's i think that's good so now we're going to make it into a tart bowl that'll just allow it to proof evenly so you want to get your hands together, scrape the bottom of the dough to bring it taut together. So this is a proofing basket. Um, normally used for long fermentation stuff like sourdough. Um, well, I've been more in a bit to use it more, or actually even use it because every time I make sourdough, it goes wrong. So I thought I'd use it in this, but later on I decided to change it out just because the dough does get quite big after it's proof. 
So if you see me do this, but later on, I'll change it out. And most important, always name your bread. So this is Bob. So we changed it to a bigger bro bowl. It's proofed for about an hour. At this point, you need to um, put it out uh, and then shape it into the bread you want. By this point, I decided that I was going to make two loaves out of this one because the wife's on a diet and she's not eating bread. So I thought I'd make two for myself. There's me splitting the bread, the rolling pin. Uh, I was going to roll it out, but uh, decide against it. So the proof, first proof is for an hour, and the second proof again will be for another hour. So again, we're just tarting them up. That's me deciding if I was going to roll it out. I decided against it, so we're just going to tighten them up and then put them into two separate bowls. just need to cover them up to stop the dough from drying out and that's Bob and since we split him here's Bob Jr And again, we'll leave them to proof for another hour. Uh, during this, we'll preheat the oven and we'll put in a uh, Dutch oven. Uh, this will simulate a bottom of an oven and it'll give it an even, even heating. So this is an hour later. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shape the dough into uh, balls. And then we're going to cover them in a wet towel and that's just so that uh, again the dough doesn't heat out, <laughs> dry out and uh, we're just going to shape it a little bit more. And because I've shaped them we need to leave them, let them rest a little bit. Dry out. If you allow your dough to dry out crispy and you won't get a good uh, bloom on the bread when it's in the oven. So these are proofed for a little bit longer and we're just going to cover the dough in some flour and then score. So you're gonna caress it so it's got an even layer. You don't want too much flour in one area. And then score. You need to be quite confident when doing the score. You gotta do one swift movement. If you do falter, you, know, you cause imperfections in it. Um, and go quite, well not too deep, <laughs> but when the bread blooms, it'll expand out. So we'll get the oven out. So you need to cook these for 30 minutes. About 18 minutes in, you need to take the lid off and cook for the last couple of minutes. Temperatures are in the description. So here's both the breads cooked, Bob and Bob Jr. Move these out of the way. And you need to check that the bread's cooked properly. Tap it at the bottom and you'll hear an echo. The bread's all now finished. Here's Bob. 
and Bob Jr. They've been cooling for about two hours now. So the only thing left to do now, let's make a sandwich. We're gonna use Bob. Uh, so we're gonna do a ham sandwich, some ham that I made earlier today, uh, soy and honey glazed ham, uh, some spicy mayo, some pickled red onions, some cheese and some lettuce. So if you want, toast it, a little bit of butter in a pan, It'll give you a nice crunchy bread. But we're just gonna do a quick layer of spicy mayo. Need a lot of meat, no one layer stuff. We're not making a lunch, we're making a, a meaty sandwich. Some cheese. Thicker onions. Give you a little bit of acidi acid acidic to the sweetness of the ham and the creaminess of the cheese. Give you a good break. Would you like to try some wine? Yes, please. There you go. Okay. Do you approve? This is a good sandwich. Well, I'll pass it back to Bert now. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? husband does make very good sandwiches I have to say he's the sandwich master um, if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon below and if you have any suggestions for anything you might, might like me or Bertie to make in the next episode then please put them in the comments below thank you for watching see you next time